Happy New Year. I really thank the Lord for being good to us. I felt that all of us went to the village when I reached here in the morning because the numbers were too small. But I'm seeing the church is full. People have come to bless the name of the Lord because the Lord has been so good to us throughout the year. We have had challenges. We have had long journeys throughout the year. But we still claim, we still testify that if it were not for the Lord, our enemy would have consumed us. We thank the Lord. I want to at least uh, recognize the presence of my, uh, my dear friend, pastors, Tirop and family. Uh, I know you have started the year well. May you at least, I see Madame is having a baby, but you can at least rise and wave to us, pastor. <laughs> no, she had, she had greeted. Thank you so much, Phil, at the field of Jesus, the whole family. God bless you. I want to welcome all of you, and I'm happy that you are here. I was very happy to see how the testimonies were really telling us how God is so good to us, and God is doing miracles. By the way, and I thank you, Elder, for noting that, that that is the miraculous escape. When you look at Sister Ope, when she was giving that kind of a testimony, when you look at Alvin Ogonda, and being overwhelmed, that was a miraculous escape. When you look at uh, my dear friend, Ashley, um, your mom did the wall for Alvin, and we were praying every morning. But you find she's praying, but at home, uh, tests that are not heading anywhere. But God is a God of miracles. We thank the Lord. And all of us, in your own way, you have seen the hand of the Lord. I wanted us this morning to thank the Lord for the year 2023 that has passed and hope to be with him for the year 2024 using the book of Psalms and a song of Psalm 124. So our text today is Psalm 124. Psalm 124 is one of the pilgrim psalms or psalms of ascents or psalm of, of degrees. When you look at your Bible, you, you may find those titles written up there. Song, song of degrees, song of ascents, song of steps, pilgrimage song. What it means that 15 songs starting from Psalm 120 to Psalm 134, 15 in number, they are called Psalm of Degrees or Psalm of Ascent, Psalm of, of Pilgrimage, Psalm of Steps. Israelites, after the captivity in Babylon, in the around 500, 500 BC or so, or after, they used to sing them when they are going for the three festivals in a year that the Israelites had to attend to. So as they were ascending to Jerusalem, ascending on the hill, this, that is why they were singing those songs. That is why they are called Song of Ascents or Song of Pilgrimage. They were on a pilgrimage and singing those songs or songs of degrees or song of steps as they do their steps to... to Jerusalem, which is surrounded by seven hills. So that is why 
they are called that. Again, this Psalm 124 has been given a title that it is a song of David, which means it, is, it has been ascribed to David that David composed it or there might be a reason if he didn't compose it why it is ascribed to him. But let us just believe that it was composed by David. Some of the pilgrimage songs were composed after the captivity. Some were even before the captivity, but they fitted in into the captivity. Because you can see if it was composed by David, David would have lived around 1000 BC. And you see pilgrimage was around 500 years later. So... Uh, after the captivity is about 500 years later. That is a small introduction you need to know before we read Psalm 124. So as David composed it, and as the Israelites were singing it, after the, the captivity in Babylon, they sing and say, we read Psalm 124. And it reads, if it, it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us quick when their wrath was killed against us, kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fallers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven. And earth. That is our song this morning, and this is our song for the beginning of the year. Probably, if David really composed this song, as the title is telling us, there must have been something that moved him to write this message. And it says that if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. You, there is something that is moving him. It must have been a situation that was seemingly deadly. There was no way out in that situation. And then he starts by saying, Oh, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, then he realizes that I don't need to say this alone. Let all Israelites proclaim and say, surely each of us is testifying in verse 2. That is why he's saying, let all Israel say in verse 1, that if it had not, it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. See, probably, it's not very definite, but some scholars do think that what moved David to write this song is the circumstance that is in the book of 2 Samuel, we will read it, 2 Samuel chapter 5, from verse 17. 2 Samuel chapter 5, from verse 17, we'll look at it, then we will come back to our book of Psalm a book in Psalms, Psalm 124. But 
Second Samuel chapter 5 from verse 17, the Bible is saying, now when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines, all the Philistines went up to search for David. And David heard of it and went down to the stronghold when the Philistines also went and deployed themselves in the valley of Rephaim. So David inquired of the Lord saying, shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said to David, go up for I will doubt doubtless deliver the Philistines into your hand. And verse 20, we continue. So David went to Baal Perazim, and David defeated them there, and he said, the Lord has broken through my enemies before me like a breakthrough of water. Therefore, he called the name of the place Baal Perazim. And when they left their images there, and David and his men carried them away. Verse 22. Then the Philistines went up once again. They, they are still wanting to fight, so they are continuing. They are not giving up. But get a situation where God has had deserted Saul. And now, David has been crowned the king. It means the ground is very shaky for the new king. But Philistines who are powerful enemies are coming to war. All of them to war. To, to, to have a war with David. So in verse 22 we continue. Then after the first one, then the Philistines went up once again and deployed themselves in the valley of Rephaim. Therefore David inquired of the Lord, and he said, You shall not, sorry, then David inquired of the Lord, and he said, You shall not go up. God told him, You shall not go up. Circle around behind them, and come upon them in front of the mulberry tree, and it shall be when you shall hear the sound of, of marching in the, in the tops of the mulberry trees, then you shall advance quickly, for then the Lord will go before you to strike the camp of the Philistines. And David did so. And the Lord commanded him, sorry, as the Lord commanded him, and he drew back the Philistines from Geba as far as, as far as Gezer. What I loved in that statement is that David is asking the Lord. They have come again the second time. You helped me the first time and I defeated them. Lord, what am I going to do this time? Can I go again? Then the Lord told, don't go, don't go. But just be at the back. But when you hear the sound of marching on top of the tree, then go quickly. Who do you think was marching on top of the tree? It means that the battle was not for David, but the battle was the Lord's. The Lord was telling him, the sign that I will show you is that my angels will march with you and they are going to fight for you. Just wait for the angels to go and march for you that you know that the Lord is going with you. Then after such kind of a miraculous defeat of the Philistines, David must have come 
to write this song in Psalm 124, and it says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, verse 2, If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. If we were to fight it ourselves, surely we would have been swallowed. If we were to go with our soldiers, they would have swallowed us alive. They would have killed all of us. By the way, look at this verse 2 again and put the word what at the beginning. What if, what if it had not been the Lord who was on our side? Just try to imagine. You have passed through some conditions in life, like the testimonies that you have heard, like your own testimony that, that you have not given unto us, and then ask, that, ask yourself that question. What if it had not been the Lord who was on my side? What could have happened? This is the question. What if the Lord left us to fight our own battles? Where would we be? Then the answer is very simple. The answer is coming from the text. And it's saying they are rough would have blazed against us like a blazing fire and some imagery some imageries have been used here like a blazing fire something that can burn all of us and we are all gone the situations that we have faced in life all of us, we, are, we could have been burned by the blazing fire. Then if not so, verse 4 is saying, if it were not so again, the waters would have overwhelmed us. And when I was reading at the waters, like the same way even verse 5 is saying, then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. I was seeing the El Nino rains that have just, uh, I don't know whether they have just, it has just passed, but you can remember two, three months down the line, we have been experiencing some heavy rains. And I can, I remember some clips I saw of the coast, how, it, how the floods were raging in coast. And you would see some people hidden somewhere, Walls have been covered with, with the flood. If it was not the Lord who was on our side, then the raging waters could have overwhelmed us. I was also thinking of what Israelites what made Israelites choose this song as one of the pilgrimage songs? Because they were taken to captivity in Babylon for 70 years. And when they are coming back, you know, sometimes you come back and hate the Lord because of the tough experiences that you have gone through. By the way, do you know sometimes you become so sick and for too long, 
Sometimes financial crisis that is never ending. Sometimes family problems that are never ending. Until you ask, why would you even serve the Lord if your worst situation is persisting? But I find the Israelites, after coming out of the captivity in 70 years, they come and, and use this song. When they are going to worship the Lord in Jerusalem, they are going and they are saying, and they are singing, if it were not the Lord who was on our side, then they would have swallowed us alive. They are thinking of those ruthless Babylonians who are torturing them. Sometimes they torture them, they put them there. Then they tell them that can you sing for us the songs that those things, those useless things that you used to sing in Jerusalem. Then they look at the way they are being treated Then they are asking themselves, how can we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? They are being tortured and asking and, and they feel it is so bad. It means the Babylonian captivity was very cruel. And they feel that this, this text is really explaining their situation. And they say, even in Babylon, and the way that the three captivities, the, one, the first one was on 605, second one 597, where a king and prophet Ezekiel was taken to captivity. Second captivity. Third captivity, 587 stroke 586, where everything was destroyed, including the temple of Jerusalem was destroyed. And they were punished there thoroughly when they are in Babylon. And that is when they are crying, how can we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? Then after coming back for seven, after 70 years, they are thinking of that captivity and they are going to worship the Lord and they are saying, if it were not that the Lord was with us, the Babylonians would have swallowed us alive. If it were not the Lord who was protecting us, that tough situation could have swallowed us. That fire would have burnt us. Those raging floods would have swept us. But one good thing, the Lord was on our side. Please take this one home. I've not finished preaching, but take this one home. That the Lord is on our side. That is why they confidently sing and say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, then they would have swallowed us alive. Look at the economic, economic situation of our nation today. The economic situation of the global economic situation today. By the way, how do you see it? Very tough. Do you think you escaped because you have a good job? Do you think you escaped because Maybe you went to school. Do you think you escaped because there was somebody who was caring for you? No, you did not escape because of that. You escaped because the Lord was on your side. By the way, the, re the reason you will be able to succeed in 2024, 
It's not because you have something that you can depend on. It's not because you have some brains to use. It's not because you have somewhere where you go every morning. No. You will escape this year because the Lord is on your side. That is why that verse 1 is very sweet when the writer of the song is just starting it by saying, if the Lord Sorry, if the Lord had not been on our side, our enemies would have swallowed us alive. By the way, you see that family where you are in, it can turn up to be something that is very hot. But do you know the reason why sometimes you are very comfortable to be in that family, to be in that house? It is because the Lord is on your side. And do you know what it means for the Lord to be on your side? It means you are going for war. And the enemy is prepared to fight you. By the way, to destroy you. The enemy is armed with powerful arms. The devil is seriously armed to finish you. But on your side you may have we very weak weapons or very less powerful weapons. But the good thing is that the Lord is ready to fight the enemies for you. That, it, that, it, that, that is what it means when the Bible is saying that the Lord is on your side. It means the enemy is furious. The fire is from the enemy. It's glazing but you have someone on your side, which is not just someone. The Lord is on your side to fight that battle for you. And uh, let me read verse 6 and 7. And it says, because of that, blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. The enemy is ready and prepared. But the Lord has not allowed us to be a prey to their teeth that they can be able to finish us. We thank the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then verse 7 says, and because the Lord has been on our side, then our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the flawless. Then the snare is broken and we have escaped. Our title of the sermon is saying, Miraculous Escape. It is saying we have escaped as a bird. When I was young, I was home this week. By the way, I came past midnight today is when I reached town. I was at home and I saw maize is drying up. And I saw there are some birds I used to see when we were young. They love eating maize. They are not big birds, and they are yellow here. I don't know their name. Yes, yeah, Sosogo in my language. <laughs> Elder is reminding me. We used to trap them when I was young. By the way, you know when you are coming from a humble family and, and, and 
you always try to get those bitter herbs as, as vegetables. It is a very good, delicious meal when you change to such kind of, 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 of a soup. So we used to trap them. And the way to trap them is when they open up a maize cob, which is green, you go there with a small string and tie it there and put a kind of a hole that when they come, the head may get in and be trapped or the leg may touch it and be trapped. And when it is trapped, no escape. Until the enemy comes to take it as a prey. But, and I saw those birds and I remember those days. And I remember this verse when it says, Our soul escaped as a bird out of the snare. The devil would have wanted to swallow us alive. Do you know how many times in 2023, how many times the devil would have wanted you to get an accident and die? Do you know how many times the devil would have wanted you to lose your job? Like my brother Haman was giving a testimony that you even start asking that, could it be that I am not competent in my career? But if it, it had not been the Lord who was on our side, the devil would have swallowed us alive. But we had a miraculous escape. An escape like a bird. We escaped the snare. And we escaped. We have escaped like a bird. Out of the fuller snare. The snare has been broken. And we have escaped. All of us, whatever thing you went through, whatever situation, we have escaped. And we thank the Lord. Glory to his name. That is why verse 8 is saying, Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. May God bless you. May God keep you. I just want to tell you, as we are preparing to sing our last song, 103, we will sing last song, then we will have a prayer team that will leave us, lead us in prayers. Then after those prayers, I will also offer a final prayer, and we will also pray for the boxes that are here. So if you had not brought your prayer requests, you can be bringing them. We will be singing song 103. But remember, as all those are happening and choristers are coming, remember that what we are talking about is that it is because of the Lord. Because of him, we have escaped. Because of him, we can trust tomorrow. Because... Our help is the name of the Lord. We are just entering in with the name of the Lord. We can do nothing on, on our, by ourselves, but the Lord will be able to help us. The Lord will keep us. Our keeper is God.